From a business point of view, I just didn't think we could make it. Is gentrification to be blamed for the closure of one of the city's most famous burger joints of Faisal Amin on Queen East and Broadview, where this diner, Dangerous Dan's, is closing its doors after 18 years in the community? I own my house. I bought it in 97. That's why I, uh, I, I bought the restaurant down here, because I knew the neighborhood had potential. Uh, so it's fantastic for me that way. Uh, the negative is, you know, I can't afford the rents, and that's why I'm leaving. There's the big boy. Oh, son. James McKinnon credits the gentrification in his neighborhood for raising his property value. But at the same time, <laughs> he also says it's the reason he's closing the doors to the restaurant he's owned since 1999. I'm going to miss chicken. this place. He's been trying to renegotiate his lease for months now with his new landlord, Pizza Nova, and he tells City News they wanted an 80% increase in rent and repairs made to his restaurant. Moving and selling the diner weren't options. You know, I probably could sell the name and the concept or whatever, but for the small amount of money I'd get, you know, I'm, it wouldn't be worth it because I named it after my grandpa, so I'd rather keep it. Pizza Nova, who bought the building nearly two years ago, wouldn't confirm the terms of that lease agreement, but the company's president tells City News in a statement, We were very surprised and sorry to learn about this news through the media today. Pizza Nova has owned the building since 2015 and considers Dangerous Dan's a value tenant. We've been negotiating the renewal of his lease in good faith and in line with market rates as we always do with our tenants. The term of his lease runs until May. As we were only made aware of the news through media today, we don't have any plans for the space at this time. The diner's closure is just one of many businesses in this intersection that's closed its doors in recent years. After a 24-year run, Real Jerk called it quits in 2012, saying they were forced out by the landlords. And Sibin Pub moved into that space but closed this past November, saying it's due to unreasonable and many rent increases. And across the street from Dangerous Stands, the infamous Jillies, a strip club, was forced to close after the building was bought by a new developer. Plans are underway to turn this historic site into a hotel opening this spring. I'm welcome and change if it's adapt to the community. There's some places around here that are kind of neighborhood favorites and they just just kind of change through the years and you know you kind of miss that. The downside of it is a lot of the blue collar people who used to live in the neighborhood who were like just working people with a job, they can't afford to live around here anymore. Dangerous Dan's will be serving up its last burgers on May 28th on Queen East and Broadview. I'm Faisa Amin for City News.